virtual reality. A new medical company, Salus Medical, aims to be an innovative medical distribution network and has already partnered with several leading brands in the medical field. Kamini Prasad, Chief Executive Officer of Salus Medical, said they will equip doctors and surgeons with modern medical technology to ensure the best medical care with state-of-the-art facilities. We will facilitate the qualifying and certifying of the best and brightest minds in the medical field, equipping them with the most modern and innovative medical facilities and equipment to provide 21st century and beyond medical care right here at home. Brain Labs, one of the companies on board, utilize software technology such as X-ray vision to diagnose patients and navigate through surgeries using a digital replica of the patient's organs, muscles and tissues. Another leading brand, KLS Martin, provides the world's best implants for skull and facial surgery. Other brands include Nexus, which uses technology to detect and remove complicated tumors. We will also pursue partnerships with other local healthcare providers to build on synergies so that Guyanese get maximum benefits. We also seek to introduce robotic surgical care for the first time in the region by utilizing technology of our many partners in the advanced world of healthcare practice and research. Meanwhile, President Dr. Irfan Ali, during brief remarks, lauded Sailors Medical as another positive move by Guyanese. The head of state reminded that health and education are the two sectors being targeted in Guyana to be among regional leaders. We are talking about building out new facilities, training the nurses of the future, the doctors of the future, ensuring that we have the technologists of the future, bringing in the best in healthcare management and development, whether it's, it's uh, Mount Sinai or Northwell Healthcare. We are going to every single, uh, every single facility and every single group that is out there that can help us to achieve this. The president revealed that the government will continue to support private specialized health care. He explained that the government is also cognizant of the necessary legislation needed to transform the sector and referenced the recently passed Human Organ Transplant Bill. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.